Hey guys, this is William Morris here, and today I just wanted to take a look at Sonokinetic Spieldus, which is a Swiss music box library. Uh, I basically bought this for a particular scene in a film uh, that was a kind of reunion between a, a father and a daughter, and I was looking for something that would go well with a, a lullaby kind of feel. And uh, so this library came up, and I thought, let's give it a go. Um, so everything is just in within this one contact patch here. The UI is very simple. We have a mono mic mix, a stereo mic mix, three band EQ, a convolution reverb with amount and size, and a tail and offset setting. The tail is basically the, the release of the sound. Um, so if you want a really kind of long ambient tail, you can just turn that way up. Uh, the offset is the sample offset. So if you kind of set it higher, then you're going to hear less of the start of the sample and the attack, and you can create some sort of pad-like tones with this as well. All right, so we're just going to dive straight into the library and uh, have a listen. You'll have to excuse my playing, I'm not a particularly good uh, keyboardist or uh, music box player. Uh, but it is a very nice little library. Um, I'll give you an idea of the, the Ram Robins here. There we go. So just going through the controls, um, we're going to have a listen to just the mono mic. And now the stereo. Uh, the default is basically set, I think, pretty even between the two. So we're just going to keep it there for the examples. There's also a convolution reverb, so we're just going to have a listen to when it sounds like a bit, a bit higher. Uh, the tail, let's just take that up to the top. And all the way down. It's really unnatural sort of way down. I think the only thing you'd use it for is some really quick kind of staccato type passages. So we're just gonna take that back up again. Uh, here's the offset. So right at the top, you can get an almost pad-like, very soft kind of ambient thing, which is quite nice for those quieter passages where you don't want it to poke out of the mix as much. Um, so that's basically it for the controls. The only other thing we've got is this uh, octave activation at the bottom, uh, which basically just gives you an octave above everything. Oops, sorry, I'll just take the uh, offset back to normal. So you get the idea there. And we also have a couple of uh, effects triggers here as well.
They're basically just like the winding mechanisms, I think, in the, in the music box itself. Okay, guys, so that wraps up our, our Spiel Do's uh, walkthrough. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And basically, if you'd like to see any more of these uh, and any other kind of sample libraries, just let me know in the comments and I'll try and get to them. All right, see ya.